You can introduce yourself first, then I will let see. Meeting. I think it's a very fruitful meeting, cultural diplom diplomacy. And so, can you describe us what your aims, what your goals are, are and what was the uh, purpose of this conference? Sure. Well, the goals of the Institute for Diplomacy are to try to promote cultural diplomacy as actually a practice for the public sector, the private sector, and civil society. But when we talk about cultural diplomacy, we have a traditional sense of winning the hearts and minds or what we mean is how but understanding and if we have more understanding and trust between groups at the local level, national level, or the global level, it'll be easier for us to. And as we were discussing earlier, there are a lot of really urgent problems right now that we need to immediately work on, such as mass atrocities, such as climate change, such as poverty. And right now, we're not working on them. It's very, very important that we actually practice more diplomacy at every level. Cultural problems, but relationships peoples not enough that we can really work together we don't have to agree we don't have to like each other it's better if we but we need to trust each other once that then we can get so what what does religion has uh, important what's the importance of religion in the world? vitally important the way the centuries for a long time it's very often identified as a source of problems something that actually in, instigates problems that escalates problems, something that is used very often as a way of individuals. In many cases, that has happened in the 20th also much earlier. However, we really institute that there are many more moderates when it comes to religion than there are extremists. As we talk about Islam, as we talk about Christianity, as we talk about Judaism, as we talk about Buddhism, every faith. And so in that sense, the key, in our opinion, is to try to the moderate religion together with leaders, together with civil society, and by including a discussion like of the problems alone, but we'll come a little bit closer. So I really think that as we see culture developing, interfaith dialogue are very important. Uh, even though religion has been absent, is that the past is very, very present in the culture of the future. I think you know, what you're doing is it's a big step toward peace, and I'm very hopeful that we will have peace in the entire world because the next century experience is terrible. Than 300 million people, official numbers in the 20th century, 21st. But I, you know, a good time. Obviously, the of the word is about destruction, and in every sense of the word, soft power is about construction. And if you think of the terrible destruction, hard power, in terms of human beings, we had a great day about culture, actually artifact that has been destroyed. Is it actually the of course, terrible for the environment. So it's really very, very saddening if one actually were to do the math in terms of the destruction that has come from hard, poli hard power policies. So in that sense, definitely, we need to see more soft power. Uh, but I really to the point and we can really get to work because uh, that peace and avoiding conflicts, we're still not dealing with the issues. We're not creating jobs for individuals. We're not feeding anyone. We're not helping. So as urgent as these things are, I really get to the point where we can and get to work. Uh, and then and actually make progress as a society. Uh, we hope to see you in Istanbul and do this conference in Istanbul and even a larger with a larger group be in the near future. I'll be very happy to. And, uh, as I mentioned, the thing that we need conference and another partner. I'm honored and very pleased if we can collaborate together with you and uh, an honor, inshallah, we can continue the discussion in Istanbul. It was our honor. It was to be here. It was very fruitful. Thank you very much for everything. I hope to see you in the stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.